Hey, what's up guys, Zach Calhoun here. Today I'm gonna to show you how to send out emails at scale, cold email campaigns that stop on response using leadstack.ai. The goal here is to send out emails, drip email campaigns, um, that are what we call cold emails for a new marketing message that if the lead responds, the email campaign stops. And the uh, philosophy or the reason why this is so powerful is because if you're like me, you're busy, you got a lot of things going on, um, emails are an important part of your world, but they just can't be necessarily where I hang out all the time. So I forget about things. My inbox gets full. Uh, I've had a screenshot of like 2,000 missed emails. Anyways, that, that, that's, and that's normal, right, for business owners. So if you're emailing other business owners, hit them a few times, follow up with them automatically, uh, it's really powerful, especially if you're um, trying to navigate an organization. You have, like, say, 10 contacts within a certain company. Um, maybe one or two respond to you on your second email. Cool, now you know who, who to contact and what their contact is. People are often pretty helpful inside businesses uh, as long as you aren't um, pitching them right away. So... Well, let me show you how this works in Leadstack and how and how you can do this yourself uh, for your account. So, getting started, the contacts tab. When you're when you're logged into your account, this is my my uh, Cloud Pano account that's uh, using we're using Leadstack to, to promote Cloud Pano, right, and to run the CRM and to run the sales team, etc. Um, when you click on contacts, that's basically like where your CRM uh, contacts are at, right? Just like it says, contacts, um, and so. You can make special lists, and I have some special lists here created, um, and I'll, I'll show you that in a, in a little bit. But right now, I just want to show you what, what it looks like to send out or to create a campaign, a workflow campaign, an automatic workflow campaign that is for cold emails that stop on response, and then I, I want to enroll people into that sequence, okay? So um, I'm just, this is a step-by-step -step video. So um, once you have imported your contacts or imported your leads into your into the lease tax system, uh, you have to use a, a .csv file to do that. Uh, I've already did it previously, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna show you um, kind of how this works and what to expect, okay? So I've imported some leads here. Uh, let's call them the, let's go right here. So Pro Plus Imports, we'll call it. Um, and you can see that the leads are here, right? And on this page, I have a total of 1,098 contacts that I've imported for this import. Um, it's on 55 pages, okay? So if I select this right here where I select all 20 records, I can also select all 1,098 records as well if I want to and have a bulk action that I do in a second. But for a moment, I'm just going to show you um, what it looks like to, to add these 20 into a workflow that is an automatic email campaign. So before this video, um, I made some email templates. We have this uh, marketing section here where you can put an email template uh, and you can make templates as well. So I'm gonna show you like right here, you can, you can add a template if you want as well. But I'm just gonna show you what it looks like when I already have a template built uh, to build a workflow, okay? So when you click on automations, um, this is where you can build out I was building this out myself. I was like, you know, I'm going to go ahead and record this so I can show folks how it works. So this is basically all your automations in, in one place. Um, I made a new folder called Cold Email um, Cloud Pano Lead Stack. So our, our existing people that are within Cloud Pano, I want to send them over and and, and and teach them about Lead Stack, how it works. Like, you know, let's book a call, bro. Let's talk about it. Um, and, it, you know, it's not perf perfect for every business, but for those that are trying to grow and grow fast, like I'm going to show you, show you here and want to scale out their operations using high leverage, it's a perfect tool, right? So we have a lot of business owners that are um, in our world at Cloud Piano. So I want to send over um, some emails. So I click into that automation. This is a start from scratch email campaign, okay? So when I add a new workflow trigger, um, I can just call it, um, I can just make it a tag. So contact tag. When I tag someone, um, and the workflow trigger name is contact tag. We'll call this um, contact tag cold CP to, I'm just going to call it whatever I want, LS emails. Okay, that's what the workflow trigger name is. Add filter. Okay, so what I, what I want to do is I want to add a tag, and we're going to call that tag, um, I'm going to call it CP to ls emails okay i call it whatever i want to but this is going to help me internally so i'm just like add tag now this tag is in my system as well too so you can create tags on the go on the fly as well so this is how the how the workflow starts and what's nice about using tags is that you are not going to um re-tag someone uh you only want to send this campaign out once right so that's really important 
and you'll see that with, within the contacts. And if you want to do this again or send, send out the exact same uh, workflow, you can just make a new tag and then the, make a new workflow as well. Okay, so save trigger. So that's my trigger up here. So there's the, how do we start this automation, right? So add your first action. So I'm going to put email here. So send email. And this is where you kind of build out your email, right? So I'm going to select from templates. CP to that email one. Um, I wrote this template a moment ago, so that's why I actually can't read it here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select none and just show that you can add an email here. So I'm going to go, I have a little cool doc open over here. Um, I'm going to pull that down to show you what I want it to say. Okay. And I'm just going to make an email together. And when I, I, so I typically, my personal style is to write a Google doc email kind of get it on just like I'm just writing it's what I'm doing in that moment. Um, and I'll come back later when I'm copying and pasting or I'm building out something uh, that's when I can optimize and change things. So you'll see here um, I have hey high first name. Well, I want this to be a custom value. So I'm going to go to contact first name. So it's going to pull from that list. What's their first name. Okay. Um, and so it says, we released a new tool called LeapTech.ai. It's a funnel builder CRM and automations tool to help you scale. Um, you can send large email campaigns to your list just like this email. Did you see it? And so me and my team would love to talk more. And so here is this specific um, email link. Yep, so I'm just grabbing that email link here. I'm going to paste it. I'm sorry, the demo link here. So if they go to this link, they see a demo calendar which you can create demo calendars on leads that which is really powerful. So, um, so this is where, what they'll see if they click on that link, right? And it says, let me know what you think. Also for reference, here's an announcement video, at least that AI forward slash launch. Okay. Now I put right here, username. Well, I want that actually to be a custom field. So as my team sends these out, we want to make sure that my team has their info in here. Right? Um, so, it's going to remove this. It's a custom field. And so let's say hypothetically, if Robert is sending out emails or send out the, or starting this workflow, um, we want his phone number there and we want his email there, right? Not necessarily mine because the folks were replying to my email. Makes sense. So I'm going to put his email. So his username, phone, email is right there. So in case someone does want to call him, they see the email. I'm almost going to call this person. If Robert really the person and he'll answer the phone or he should. <laughs> Uh, and I made this specific um, subject line. So I'm gonna show it to you. And again, this is a dynamic field, contact first name. It's always good if you send out an email to send out uh, someone's first name in the subject line. It gets a response. Okay, so it's gonna be from email. It's going to be the user. So the user email uh, from name will be, what do I wanna put here? I do want to put the username because it's kind of cool than before. All right, cool. And so, so that's the action. That's what they're going to, that's, these are the dynamic fields. And once I create this one time, I can use it whenever I want to. I can also send test email, see how it looks. It's going to save it for now. I trust it's going to be good. Um, then I'm going to add in a wait action. So wait, in this case, two days, save. And then we're going to send the email again. So I'm actually going to, I'll show you how fast you can do this. I'm going to send out, I'm going to make a copy, copy action to here. And then I'm going to go in here and say something very simple. I'm just going to add this here. I am following up to see if you saw my last email in case you missed it. Here it is again. Because people do miss it. They miss it, bro. And <laughs> it's super important. Okay, cool. So I had the emails built. I had the automation, automatic follow-up built. I'll probably put about four emails in the future here, but for now I'm just gonna show you some, this is an example, right? So this is an automation that's built. I'm gonna click publish. Very, very important. If you're gonna send out a cold campaign and it's not gonna be something you do over and over again, you want to have it stop on response. You also wanna allow re-entry as well too. So. Um, actually, we're going to turn off allow re-entry for now because I want to make sure this doesn't hit the same person twice. But stop on response is powerful when someone does respond. That goes into my uh, conversations flow and my whole entire team can see it and respond there as well. I'm going to click save. 
Okay, we are saved. This workflow is alive and well. So now I'm gonna go back to my contacts here and I showed you a moment ago, when you import your contacts, how do I send out that workflow where it sends an email and then um, and a few days later sends another email to follow up with them. And you can do this like a thousand emails at a time, but you don't wanna do them a thousand emails at a time. So here's, here's what I, all at the same time. So here's what I mean. When you, so I'm gonna select 20 right here and you probably wanna drip this 50 emails a day is, is a good number, um, especially if you have a cold, brand new email you created, you're going to want to send that out kind of 20, then 30 a day, then 40, then 50. So kind of keep it at 50 is a, a good number, but you can have one domain. So I'm going to go faster. One URL can have, or so one domain URL can have three emails is a good, good rule of thumb. So if you're going to have, uh, so every domain you own or burner domain you own, uh, you, you can have three usernames as well so you can actually have those in your in your lead stack system is that there's no limit to how many um, users you can have so say you have 10 domains three emails uh, per domain and you send out 50 emails per domain i think that's like three thousand emails a day i think something like that um so whatever 50 it's, it's 50 emails per email so just keep keep that in mind if, if you're if you're building these okay one second okay so i have 20 records selected here and you can select all of them if you want to or kind of go wild with it i'm actually going to pick out a certain list because i'm going to go ahead and send this out so we got uh 20 records here now i'm going to create what's called a now i'm going to do is i'm going to create um a i'm going to add these folks to a workflow okay so i made the workflow a moment ago you saw me make it so now i have these 20 people that are here so i'm going to add to campaign workflow okay so it's 20 records add a campaign workflow that i just made a moment ago um and it's, they'll give you a quick warning here. I'm like, okay, proceed. Campaign workflow name. I mean, cold emails four. I'm going to add four, more, four emails later, but it, it, here's the first two. Um, add all at once, add title trend, or add in drip mode. This is a powerful tool, add in drip mode, because you don't want to send out more than 50 emails a day. Trust me. They'll, and we can also, within least that we can validate emails. So I have I have email validation turned on because I only want valid emails to be sent out. So if the, if the lead list really is ice cold and you're not sure if the emails are, are, are real or not, turn on email validation, big deal, it's like three cents, something like that per email. It's very, very affordable. If you, if you send out emails from an email domain or URL, and you send out emails to a bad email that doesn't exist, you do it enough times in a row, the ISP is gonna shut down your email and all that work goes to waste. Um, so we're going to call this, uh, you know, cold drip CP to LS one test. Okay. So just a test. Uh, we're going to start it today. Okay. Right now, uh, batch quantity. So I'm going to put 50 here, even though there's 20, but that's what I want. Um, and repeat after you want delay. So if it, if it hits over 50, you can basically say after one day repeat. Okay. Um, and process this during a certain period of time. So we can have this process from eight to five, which is a good idea, I recommend that. Or we can put, you know, 9 a.m., even though it's gonna do all this specific one. Um, I'm gonna show an example though, nine to five, right? Um, select end time, I did that, okay, cool. So these are kind of like, this is basically your drip mode settings. And you let's say you, you wanna add in 500 to 1,000 um, contacts into this, you can do that. Uh, all with one action. So imagine you have 2000 contacts, or maybe you have, you know, 500 for email one and then 500 for email two, every 10 days, you're going to want to go in there and have that email be sending out, sending emails to a new list. Right. And so this is how you can do that really easily. And you can also stay organized over time with some of our filtering tools. Okay. So add a campaign workflow, operation, not schedule, make sure you start period and period. Sorry, let me see here. What did I do here? Um, one moment. I just turned off there my uh, my time schedule to create to avoid any errors. Uh, the bulk action has to be scheduled. Click here to check your progress. So click I can click here to check it, which I will do. And so you see here, you can see what bulk actions I've done, and you can check like uh, what's happening, how's it going. Okay. Um, so here's all the details, etc. So as my team makes their bulk actions or bulk workflows, etc., um, as they add folks in the workflows. All of these things I can check and look at and see if there's any mistakes they made, et cetera, or something wrong with the setting. We always go in and, and QA, et cetera. So, so in, in summary, what we are doing is we create an automation that stops on response. So I showed you here a second ago. It can be emails. It can be SMS. You can even have uh, your team be tagged to call this person after four days, et cetera. Call, you know, assign it to a user to 
to call these leads, right? Um, and then once we, so and because I'm using a tag, the tag automation uh, contact tool, I'm going to tag these, these these contacts one time, and I'm only going to go through the, this campaign one time. So if, that means that if I want to do a new one, or I can change it up a little bit, change messaging some, and then do it again, right? Which I will go in here and add, add these emails and change up the emails as well. And so, and so once you have your contacts list imported, you can add what's called more filters. And I'm going a little, going faster on purpose, but just stay with me here. I can tag them. I can filter by city. I can filter by their name. Filter by all kinds of stuff. And when I do that, I can create what's called a smart list. And that's what you're seeing up here. These little tabs are called smart list. So then when I select on this, select a smart list, I can have a place where I can add workflows, create automation, send out a bunch of emails, send out text messages, et cetera, do voicemail drops, all types of really cool automation uh, processes. But just, just the basic, like I want to send four emails to a list of people. You can do that super easily just by following the, the process I showed you today. So great automation, add these folks, to the workflow, make sure it drips over time at the appropriate speed and pace. And then if you get real fancy, you can add multiple users, multiple emails, set up multiple emails and then send out you know thousands per day, honestly, um, which is really, really cool. So as these users or these contacts reply, they'll all end up in my conversations tab. So which is here, right? And here is where we can um, start to prospect and get them on a demo calendar and really have them become a true um, to sale, right? Because we're just warming them up. But over time, we want to actually, um, obviously, get them on demo and, and close them as, as a group, right? So uh, a lot more about that. But for now, that's how you send out emails in bulk. I hope this video was very, very helpful. Be thinking big at scale. How do I win at scale, bro? How do I win this game? Well, you got to contact more people. That is such a big deal. So when you do that, the numbers will work in your favor. All right, let's go scale together. Talk to you soon. And of course, visit leastact.ai today and let's go send some emails, baby.